Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we are in the garage. It is actually here. This is not pre-recorded. I am recording this the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so November 22nd. Um, and it's been a while. You know, things are kind of overgrown, not overgrown, but you know, cobwebs have taken over. The spiders have claimed it as their own for now. And uh, this is the first time I've been here in here in four months, roughly. Actually, probably three, because I started in August. But anyway, it's kind of, uh, I don't want to say bittersweet, because obviously it will, there will become more. But um, the day I got back, you know, at the time, I, you know, winterize everything, because it's cold. It's November out here in the Midwest. Uh, you can kind of see in there that um, there's a little bit of... You know, cobwebs in there. Stuff. We'll get that taken care of. There's one in there. Pretty big one. But other than that, there's not really many updates. I perch I made one purchase in the last three months, and that was this. This other agitator, and I literally bought it just for the cap, so I can have the turquoise uh, KitchenAid cap. This thing is junk, so we'll see what I, what I end up doing with it, but... Today, the main focus is going to be these six machines. Uh, we're going to start down this end and work our way that way. They're all plugged in and ready to go. Um, there's not really much else to say other than, like, you know, let's get started. So I'm trying something this year because, obviously, there's six machines. Uh, I don't want to have to move them if I can avoid it just to do this. So these three over here... We're gonna st or these two here are gonna stay in this position. I'm just gonna drain them into each other, drain that one into this one, and then this one into here. So, I guess we'll first get started with the Westinghouse. I'm gonna grab myself a screwdriver so I can open up the bottles of antifreeze, and I'm gonna throw the screwdriver because that's funny. I'm gonna move you guys kind of over here. So all I'm going to do is take this bottle of Meyer brand RV premium antifreeze that you guys can't see because I am, you know, bad at this. Hasn't been opened yet. Seal still intact. Going to open it and we're going to pour it in to the Westinghouse. Bring you guys a little closer. I may have to stand in the way a little bit. I also apologize if it's very shaky. It's like 48 degrees outside, and I haven't touched a camera in months. You know, I film bowling videos, but that's not very difficult. Plus, they don't get views. So it's not like you guys care anyway, but... We're gonna open that. I'm gonna set it over here to... The spin cycle. Final spin. Lid is locked. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump this thing in. I expect it to kind of come straight out the bottom. Just because it's been so long. And it's, it's definitely gotten below freezing a couple of nights, but I'm not super worried. It's better late than never. Although sometimes you can really never be too sure. I don't hear anything just straight up pouring onto the ground. So I think we're good so far. sink stopper in this time so we don't flood the garage like I did last year and we're gonna set it to spin and it's gonna come out in this machine so I'm gonna kind of have to hold it so I apologize if this kind of sucks but it's do I'm doing the best I can so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the drain hose into the Maytag and I'm gonna set it to spin here we go kind of see that we are pushing some any freeze out enough. It's very unstable because it's not leveled over here in this corner. Right, and that's enough for here. So we are all good with this one. So that's one done, if you can call it that. I'm gonna let the drain hose sit back, somewhere back over here. 
they kind of just go wherever they please at this point. And that's one done. Pretty quick and easy. I'm gonna move over here to the Maytag. I'm fully expecting one of these to blow the fuse just because it's been a while since they've ran. Here goes part two. Another one, Meyer RV antifreeze. Kind of hurts having to do this because it's been so long and I was hoping it'd be warm enough when I got back, but it just wasn't. Pour another whole gallon in. I know this one's technically getting two gallons and the Kenmore, the catalyst is gonna get three, but it is what it is. So there's two gallons in the Maytag, give or take. Plus there's probably a little water in there, don't know. And yes, I will be recycling all of this uh, eventually. I just, you know, it's over here for now. Here we go, I'm gonna do my best to hold this one in because this one will, you know, go everywhere if it can. We're gonna go. Our timer's already pushed in. I said to damp dry. I'm gonna point it in the best I can. And then we're gonna hit pull. And there we go. There goes all of the uh, antifreeze from this one in. It sounds a little bit fatigued. Probably because it's cold. This one doesn't like the cold as much. Also, hello everyone. But, uh, yeah, that's probably all I'm gonna run on that one. This one, this Maytag needs some work. It needs to go to the, um, it needs to go in for some repairs because it's, I don't want to say it's unhappy, but it's not happy because it's, Something in the tray, one of the transmission bearings is starting to bind, so it doesn't like to spin or agitate fast. So that one's, uh, it needs repairs. I just don't know why this is so freaking loose on me. Maybe if I, oh, it's because it's unscrewing! That might be why! I'm dumb! Okay. Anyway, here we go with the catalyst. Uh, like usual, what this one's gonna get is, this is where I'm gonna start getting in. Guess a little more depth. We're gonna go heavy duty, make sure catalyst's on, warm, warm. Uh, we're just gonna do this and let it catalyst treatment itself. So here we go. Oh, that's not great, hang on. Heavy duty, no temp control, start. It's gonna try and fill. That's what it's doing here. Theoretically. Hello, there we go. Oh yeah, she's not happy about that. It's probably gonna uh, end up breaking so hard it just kind of dies. But that's okay. We're gonna pour some of this in while it's spinning. You can see it's kind of waterlogging a little bit. Kind of what I wanted to happen, so that it doesn't. When I hit the brake, it doesn't change it, change its position in the laundry room, because it likes to do that on Catalyst. If you haven't seen my videos, I'm gonna pour the rest of this in. Like that. This is another one of the. Oh no, this is, yeah, then another one, the R, a Meyer one. I'm not sponsored by Meyer, but it, you know, it'd be nice. Just kidding. Any sponsors are nice. I'm very poor. Just kidding. A college debt is a real thing. If you don't understand, you will. Um, so anyway, we're going to go drain and spin. That's rinse and spin. We want drain and spin. And... There we go. Now it should spin this all out into the sink over there. So let's go. Wee, and it is. And it 
You should theoretically not just be pouring it straight onto the floor. And it's not. I'm going to let this one spin as far out as, I, as it can. I'll let it get up to speed. That motor's cold. Motor clutch brake everything on this is going to be freezing. Because it's currently... It's about 40. It's about 46 in here right now. It decided for itself that's when it wants to stop because it's drained. Uh, stop it. You calm down. There we go. Anyway, that's going to be it for that one for this year. I'm going to unplug them, actually, as we go along. So I got both of the Maytag and the uh, Westinghouse back over here. There's the Maytag one. I can You know because it says uh, Maytag on it. Let's see if that's in frame. It says Maytag on it. the one for the Westinghouse, and I know which one that is because it's the one that doesn't say Maytag on it, and it's just a plain gray three-prong cord. So now we'll go ahead, we'll move down a little bit over to here with this Kenmore, my 70 series. This is the one I'm most worried about because it doesn't like the cold. It gets very angry in the cold. I'll leave the fabric softener dispenser on it. We got one, we got another jug. RV antifreeze here. We're gonna pour this thing in. I can open it. I can't quite. I'm gonna do this one on the ground because it's got some junk on it. There you go. It's nice and opened. So we're gonna pour it in. Nice and slowly. And by slowly, I mean as fast as it'll go. Pour a little down the bleed dispenser for the funnies. If it stains it pink, don't really care. I'll replace it. Pour some in there. Just make sure it has plenty in it. I like to pour it as far away from the pump housing as I can to displace water uh, so that like, if there's water stuck on this end, it'll push all the water this way the pumps over here on this so that's that one in i apologize that i'm not very i don't know how to speak today because you know it's wednesday i haven't filmed one of these in a while and i'm kind of tired and i gotta go back in a week but actually no not even a week four days uh but anyway we're gonna set this one to uh, about there which should be agitation it was not right about there then that's what we want i don't know if you can hear that but it's pushing antifreeze through the lint filter so we get water through the whole thing through the whole system I'm now going to set it to right here. I don't want to set it to this one because this one's low speed spin, if you can see that. High speed spin is up here, so we're going to pull this out and we're going to let it spin. There we go. It's catching. It took a minute, but it got it. So far, there's no puddles on the ground under any of these, so thankfully nothing's decided it wants to just uh, empty it. on that one, so I'll go ahead and stop it. That's four of these done. Go ahead and unplug these two Kenmores here, because they're both back here. Kenmore one is on top. It's the funny plug. And uh, Kenmore two has the surge protector on it. 
you can see that. So it goes over, it goes back over here ish, and then that one, the Kenmore uh, on these ones, they have a special little area in the back that you can hook the cord into, and it holds the cord in place for you, so it's out of the way. It's a really nice feature because Kenmore thought ahead. Next up, we'll go over here to the. Uh, there's the tub of pink to the uh, A408. Or not the A408, the A482. Got more antifreeze here, of course. Whole nother gallon. Uh, we're gonna open it. Maybe. Come on. Oh, there, no, no, oh, oh it tore. Well, that's, oh, well, I got it open, so that's good enough. Go ahead. Get the dangly bits off of it because for some reason there there's stuff hanging off the bottom of it. Pour it in here. I said I like to try and pour it as far away from where the pump picks up. In this case, it's on the front right corner, so I like to pour it kind of in the back left where the water comes in. That's not why they come in over there on these, but um, it just so happens to be that it's uh, coincidentally on the opposite side of the tub from the pump. And honestly, it's not even the opposite side because the actual tub pickup is about here on the machine, but the pump's up here, so there's a hose that runs and stuff. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and set her around the spin. Here we go. This is the one that has a new motor in it because last... Uh, Two summers ago, when I unwinterized it, it kept tripping the motor protect because the motor was internally shorted. It's ramping up. It sounds a little unhappy. You can hear that. The motor's definitely got a... The motor or belt has a little bit of squeal to it, but... So hear that. You hear the filler neck rubbing together like this up here, but also you can hear the tub bearing is starting to go. What you're hearing, that squeaking is what you're hearing is the two rubber fill hoses rubbing together. Takes a little time to get up to speed. It's cold, I don't blame it. I'm a little slow when I'm cold too, but that's about full speed now. It's smoothed out very well. We'll call that full enough speed. We'll go to right there on the timer, which is off, which you can't see. That's the end of that one for now. Next, we'll come over to this one. This is gonna be the fun one. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're going to, well, I'm gonna stick this in it, but in order to pull it through both hoses for the pump, I'm gonna run a suds return cycle on it so that it can suck antifreeze up through it and then discharge it out the other tube. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So we're gonna set the timer to suds return. And okay, I'll get you guys a little closer so you can see some of the action. Maybe, if you can kind of see that. So here we go, I'm gonna hit start and we're gonna go. And while that's doing, I'm gonna open this last bottle at RV antifreeze. Here we go. Ooh, slow start there. You can tell it's been a minute. any there we go now it is theoretically yeah now we're pulling suds in I forgot I had to change the uh, buttons around for it to be return suds there we go we 
here at the steam that where it is going to return to. And I'm going to stop it. I'm going to turn the timer around to damp dry. Just right there, and we're gonna pull. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, she's a little mad. Freeze. I know it probably doesn't need it, but I have six, so we're gonna use six. Right there, that's a spray rinse if I've ever seen one. Look at that, yeah, that's what I like. push the timer knob in and turn it to off and that's, that's pretty much it I'll unplug these two machines from back here so one see this one says Maytag as well and this is for this one obviously and then the one for the a482 it also says Maytag but it's between the prongs if you can see it's in there which I know you can't see but it's still pretty cool you ask me. Now, now that that's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up and this cleaned up and recycle that. But anyway, I know that wasn't the video everyone was hoping for, but it's what I had to do. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, uh, let me know, comment below, and I'll do my best to read them all and respond to them. And. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. Uh, the few of you that, you know, do... I know my videos don't get the most views, but that's not really why I do them. Don't really do them for the views, I do them for me. And the few people that, you know, continue to watch them when I upload. So, you know, keep, you know, stuff's gonna keep continuing to be at pretty much this pace for the next, I don't know, a couple of months, if not slower now. I have one more video I have left to upload from before I did this. Westing House, spoiler alert, it's coming soon. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.